Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 33 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a perimeter we're looking for. It is supposed to be 22 feet and it's supposed to be of a rectangular bulletin board. And then we've got four models, A, B, C, and E. We're supposed to find which of those have a perimeter of 22 feet. Now remember, if we're looking at a rectangle, area is on the inside. So if we ever are asked for area, that is how many square units are on the inside. It's the perimeter that is on the outside. And I always think of this word rim that is inside the word perimeter. It makes me think of a basketball rim, how it's got that middle circle on the outside and that's what we're looking for. So how do we find the perimeter of a rectangle? Well, the perimeter of a rectangle, I'm gonna put a big P, little r, it lets me know we're dealing with the perimeter of a rectangle formula, simply because the perimeter of a square has a slightly different formula. You're going to double the length and you're gonna double the width and then add those two products together. That's why in all of these answer selections, they only give you two numbers. They give you the length and the width. They don't need to give you all four sides. We know that a rectangle has two sets of parallel sides. And so if you know the top, for example, right here on A is 11, you also know the bottom is 11. So let's just see what that looks like. Per the perimeter equals double the length plus double the width. And we're looking for 22. So let's see, double the length, we'll make that one, so two. And then what we do is we use this parentheses here. That represents multiplication. And so whenever you see a number outside of a parentheses, that means there's multiplication, even if they don't put a little dot or an X. So two multiplied by one, and then we're gonna double the 11 as well. So let's see what we have here. Two times one, that's easy, that's two. 2 times 11 is 22, so we're so close, but now we went a little bit over. We went to 24 feet. And so you see here, we've got this, if we just double this 22 by itself, it would be fine, but it's too big. So we'll just keep doing this until we find our answer. Paragraph uh, The perimeter is double the length plus double the width. So let's double three. And then let's double eight. So two times three equals six. And two times eight equals 16. Six plus 16, looking pretty good. I'm thinking that's gonna be it. So let's just double check to make sure that C and D are incorrect. C, oof, that's pretty big. Double the length plus double the width. So let's double six. And we're going to add that to double uh, 16. So double 6 is going to be 12. Double 16 is 32. That's way too big. 44. That's actually twice as big. Take a look at what they did here. If you did the 6 and the 16, you add those two together, that makes your 22. So if you just look at those two sides, you would get your 22 feet, which is what we're looking for but you've only measured two sides. The rectangle's got four, so that's the trick on that one. So that's incorrect. And then D looks very similar to, to A, except it's got 11 and two. So let's see what that is. Double the length plus double the width. So we're gonna double two. We're gonna double 11. Two times two is four. Two times 11 is 22. See that 22 by itself is already all that we need. So anything you add on top of that is going to be too large. And that is going to be 26 feet. So it also is too large. So we don't need anything that already has 11 there. We need the answer B.